Ah, the Xbox 360, launched in November 22, 2005. Absolute masterpiece. This console was something on its own. IGN, 11 out of 10. A year that was 2010, and screamers that would never end. Then right around the corner, the Xbox 360 reset glitch hack. Felix Domke. I'm not sure if I pronounced it that correctly. He was the one who invented the JTAG SMC hack. Fast forward a few years, after many consoles were getting banned online, Teapot Live comes along. After many stealth servers, a successful one that follows. Running since 2014, this is what we're going to talk about in today's video. The rise and fall of Teapot US and the rise of TeapotLive.com So what is Teapot you might ask? Teapot Live, or Teapot as it's known, is a stealth server for the Xbox 360. Now back in the day, you used to be able to get online with a JTAG system, and there would be a self server approach. Those stealth servers would be such as XBL Ninja, uh, X XBLS, and we're primarily talking about Teapot today. Teapot Live US, or TeapotLive.US is a web address, but as known as Teapot Live, formerly run by Tommy. Um, they started, well, he started this with a friend back in 2014. If you want to check the domain name, I'll, I'll show it on the screen, but it, it does show it is seven years old. So it has been running since 2014. Now what their software does is you stick it on your Xbox 360 and it misses the Xbox servers to communicate directly with their servers. Now this allows you to get your Xbox 360 online and this was back in the day, was the best way to get online with a hack system. Now Microsoft did not like this, not one bit. And their approach to stopping this was banning people through updates. Uh, they would release ban waves and every year or twice a year there would be a major ban wave where everybody would get their console banned and then they would have to buy a new Xbox. Now this is what Microsoft thought ban the Xboxes, stop the problem, right? No, it didn't stop there. Now this is where Teapot comes in. Teapot software would allow the Xbox to bypass connecting straight to Xbox Live, though connecting to their servers first, then to Xbox Live, to allow the system to get on. Now you're wondering, why didn't it still get banned or recognized as a banned device? This is where Teapot made the no KV service. Now after years and years of running, Teapot Live, they, and and let's uh, just bring Donald into the question here. Donald is now the owner of what we're going to talk about soon into this video. But Teapot Live and Donald, they created a no KV mode system. So it spoofs, basically it spoofs the Xbox to think it's another Xbox on the network. But it's pulling KVs from a pool of KVs. So let's say there's 100,000 KVs and it will pull one KV from this from the pool every time the Xbox starts up to stop the Xbox being banned. Now this is the reason why this is such a long lasting service and it has been around since 2014. It has been running for seven years. Now the, the reason why we want to talk about this video and I'm going to go into it quite in depth because Tommy the owner of Teapot Live has been doing a lot of bad things behind the scenes a lot of bad bad things on the back end side of things and he's, he's been doing a lot of drugs so you guys are gonna it will give you some information of what's happening and yeah guys do not do drugs
Now, on the other side of the fence, we have teapotlive.com, which is different from Teapot Live US. What they're trying to do is Donald is trying to create a new community for the Teapot universe, the Xbox Lifestyle service without Tommy. Now, he did it on his own. He set up his own Discord. Go join it. It's probably the best place to go to get your Xbox online. And the difference is, it's completely free. That's right, you don't have to pay a penny. You can go play your Xbox online, your banned Xbox online, and you don't have to pay a penny. And this is what Tommy didn't do, and what Donald wanted. Now the Xbox community is getting so old now, that we don't want to keep charging people to play online with this stuff. Rather preserve what we have, and the future in teapotlive.com was born and a Discord was created and hopefully soon Teapot Live US gets taken down by teapotlive.com now I don't like people scamming I hate them and Tommy is just one of them now you guys got to protect yourselves and not go on this stealth service because once you go on it and once you pay you're bound to get scammed you're bound to fall into a trap and you're bound to fall into this other problem whereas other people are having you know they can't log in their Xbox keep getting banned no you don't want that stay away from this server I hope you have a nice day final out